Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande and today we are going to see C programming explanation for Lagrange's interpolation method. Before that, let us understood what is a interpolation. In the mathematical field of numerical analysis, interpolation is nothing but it is a method of constructing new data points within the range of a discrete set of known data points. We can define interpolation in another way also as it is a technique of calculating the value of function for any intermediate value of independent variable. Let us consider that if we are given the various values of y and x that is value of x and corresponding value of y for a given set. And if we want to calculate value of the x which is not known or which is not there in the table, then the process of finding the value of y corresponding to any value of x is called as interpolation. With the help of interpolation, it is possible to find out the data values between the given data samples. So let us consider if data is x and y, x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2 up to xn, yn. So the value of y can be found, found out for the given range of x0 to xn that is in between x0 to xn or inside the given range is called as interpolation. Whereas the process of computing the value of function outside the given range is called as extrapolation. That is the process of finding the value of y for corresponding value of x n plus 2 which is not there in a table x n plus 3 which is also not present in the table. So this process is called as extrapolation. Let us consider a practical example for the interpolation. For a particular case if the various values of current and voltage are measured and tabulated as for 0.8 current or 0.8 ampere voltage is 0.34 or minus 0.55 it is 0.85 for 0.95, 1.13 and so on. And suppose if I want to calculate what will be the voltage drop across the current I equal to 0.9 ampere. So instead of connecting all the equipments or instead of connecting all the instruments, again performing same experiment for calculation of value of voltage for 0.9 ampere, you can calculate what will be the value of the voltage drop at 0.9 ampere by using interpolation technique. Another example, suppose again the experiment is carried out, input voltage and output voltage is measured for 0 volt as an input, output is 0, for 0 0.01 it is 1.50 and so on. So suppose if I want to calculate what will be the output voltage if input voltage is 0 0.035. So again instead of connecting equipments and performing experiment again, we can calculate it by using interpolation technique. Let us consider formula for Lagrange's interpolation method. If the data is given as x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2 and x3, y3. Now this particular method is used if data is unequally spaced. What is equally spaced and unequally spaced? If distance between these x1 and x0, x2 and x1, x3 and x2 is same then it is equally spaced. If distance between x1, x0, x2, x1, x3, x2 is not same, then that particular data or set of a data is called as unequally spaced data. So formula is y equal to x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3 upon x0 minus x1, x0 minus x2 and x0 minus x3 into f of x0. Now f of x0 is nothing but y0. Now if you carefully observe, this x0 term is not present in the numerator. If it is present in the numerator and denominator, then x0 minus x0 becomes 0 and whole term will be infinite. So that's why this term should not be written in the numerator. Second is x minus x0, x minus x2, x minus x3 upon x1 minus x0 x1 minus x2, x1 minus x3 into f of x1. Now again, this x1 term is not present in the numerator. Similarly, you can write a formula for a term f of x2 
and for a term f of x3 in many books it can be written in another way also that is instead of f of x0 you can write y0 instead of f of x1 you can write y1 and so on let us consider an example of lagrange's interpolation method the data is given for the value of x equal to 0 y is 2 1 3 2 12 and 5 147 find the value of y at x equal to 1.5 so we can write a formula and here x will be equal to 1.5 this is x0 x1 x2 x3 this is y0 y1 y2 y3 or f of x0 f of x1 f of x2 and f of x3 so substitute all the values you will get answer of y of 1.5 as 6.125 algorithm start read the number of entries n read input data that is x0 x1 up to xn and its corresponding values of y that is y0 y1 and up to yn read the value of x at which y is to be calculated set j equal to 0 set n equal to 1 and d equal to 1 here n is numerator d is denominator set i equal to 0 if i is not equal to j then determine n equal to n into x minus x of i and d equal to d into x of j minus x of i is i is less than n if it is yes then go to step number 6 with j plus plus else go to next step display the result as at x the value of y is and end program of lagrange's interpolation method first step is obviously header files stdio.h is the standard input output which includes printf and scanf Conio.h that is console input output which includes CLR, SCR, gate CH and return. Void main. Void main is necessary for every program. From this line onwards, the program body starts. Initialize first all the variables. So int i, j and n. That is declaration of variables which are used in the program. Here n is used as number of entries which are given. This i is used as a counter for counting the values of x and y from x0, x1 up to xn and corresponding values of y that is y0, y1 up to yn. And the term j is used as a counter for individual term of summation in the interpolation formula. That is for f of x0 term, for f of x1 term and so on. So this j is used for counting this is first term this is second term this will be third term and this will be fourth term now float x of 10 y of 10 i of 10 capital x y equal to 0 and n and d here x of 10 is the array with the name as x with a size 10 which will store the value from x0 to x9 similarly y of 10 is the array which will store the value from y0 to y9 capital x is the value for which we have to determine the value of y i of 10 is again the single dimensional array which is used to store the answer for numerator divided by denominator capital y equal to 0 is used as the initial value when any number is added in a zero answer will be same n is used to represent numerator and d is used to represent denominator clr scr it clears the previous output of a program when the new program executes now printf slash n is for new line enter the number of entries n it will print the statement as enter the number of entries n equal to so for this problem n equal to 4 and that value we have to give through keyboard so that's why here we have used input statement as a scanf now n is taken in int and format specifier for int is percent d so that's why here we have written percent d ampersand n ampersand it stores the address of variable where the value is to be stored 
print f slash in enter the value where interpolation is required capital x equal to now the value of capital x is taken under float and its format to specifier is percent a this particular step is used to represent value of x at which y is to be determined so from a given problem value of x is equal to 1.5 now use of for loop for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus this particular for loop is used to represent the values of x and y given in the problem that is from x0 x1 up to xn and corresponding values of y that is y0 y1 up to yn here i is used as a counter for counting the values of x and y so this for loop will print x0 equal to x1 equal to up to xn equal to for n equal to whatever will be the value given for a problem and its corresponding values of y that is y0 y1 up to yn so here this percent d is used for i this percent d is used for i so this statement will print as enter x1 and y1 equal to so for giving values of x1 and y1 as we have used the array x of i and y of i under float instruction so that's why here we have used percentage percentage next for loop for j equal to 0, j less than n and j plus plus. Now remember, the values of x and y starts from 0. That's why here we have written i equal to 0. Now, here again we have written j equal to 0. Why? Because j is used as a counter for individual term of summation in the interpolation formula. That is, for representing a total term of f of x0, for representing total term of f of x1 as it starts from 0 so that's why here we have written j equal to 0 n equal to 1 and d equal to 1 here n is numerator d is denominator so its ratio is assumed to be 1 because any value multiplied by 1 gives same answer now again we have to use for loop for i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus this inner for loop calculates value of the particular term that is used to calculate numerator and denominator values now this is very important condition if j is not equal to i now if j is not equal to i so from the formula it has been observed that the term here present x0 is not written in the numerator and that's why it is not there in the denominator also if it is written in the numerator and denominator then denominator becomes x0 minus x0 so it will be 0 and whole term will be infinite so that's why condition is important this for representing this value we have used j and for representing these values of x here we have using i so j should not be equal to i n equal to n into x minus x of i d equal to d into x of j minus x of i now let initially value of j equal to 0 and value of i equal to 0 but from the previous condition j should not be equal to i so if i write j equal to 0 i equal to 0 no condition exists. hence we will increment the value of i as 1 here initially value of n equal to 1 d equal to 1 from a previous so value of j is 0 value of i is incremented which will be 1 so just substitute this value in above equation it will become n equal to 1 into capital x minus x of 1 and d equal to 1 into x of 0 minus x of 1 so it will give you numerator equal to x minus x1 and denominator equal to x0 minus x1 now for next value of i the previous value of n and d is to be used means value of numerator and denominator will be overwritten so 
the value of j is as it as it is it is 0 value of i now it becomes 2 so here again for this particular n we have to use this previous value so n equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 and d equal to x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 likewise it will be generate numerator and denominator term in the formula up to the condition i less than n and j less than n i of j equal to n by d it will give the formula as i of j equal to x minus x1 into x minus x2 up to x minus x in divided by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 up to x0 minus xn now y equal to y plus i of j into y of z so initially y equal to 0 and any value added in the 0 will give same answer so when j equal to 0 y equal to 0 plus i of 0 into y of 0 when j equal to 1 now this initial value will be written here so i of 0 into y of 0 plus i of 1 into y of 1 likewise it will print or it will execute till j less than n and then answer will be stored in y printf slash n value of y at x is percent f print the final answer of y for given value of x and get ch it holds the output on the screen till we give any character or we press any key that is output on the screen thank you if you have any doubt you can ask it to me please subscribe my channel and like